Hey guys, we are talking to Chase Beckham here today. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you for having me. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, I'm my, our pleasure. Are you enjoying your CRS so far? I am. We just got started not too long ago. So I mean, uh, getting the ball rolling and visiting people and saying hello to everybody. So I like it. I'm having fun. So obviously we have to talk about the fact that you just won American Idol. Yeah. So like. Recently. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was that like? Like the whole process? What was your experience with it? Being on American Idol, I think is something that you kind of have to mentally prepare yourself for and um, understand what you're getting yourself into. And because uh, it's a lot as far as just, you know, the songs you have to learn, the, you know, the, the pressure that's on you when the cameras turn on, the lights turn on. And, um, you know, you got to remember words to songs that you just learned that week. So it's um, you figure out if you can or can't do it whenever you jump up on the stage and, and you got to sing a song because um, I didn't think honestly, I didn't think I could do it. And it was something that my parents really forced me into doing um, at the time. Uh, I had made a million bad choices that led up to where I was. And um, that was kind of like my last lifeline was to go and do this TV show. And, and hey, maybe it'll work out for you. You know, my parents were like, I think it'll it'll be a good thing for you. But for me, I was like, I I don't see it working. I don't I can't picture myself on a TV show. I don't think I can sing better than any of those people. And I don't think that uh, they'll like what I'm trying to do. And but it was more like by the time I got there and I was like, OK, I'm just going to do it. I'm here and it is what it is. And then it ended up being, you know, the launching pad from my career, you know, going through every round and uh you know and eventually winning the show so um Amazing. it was a it was a really cool experience and like Have you thanked your you folks said, oh my gosh yeah they, <laughs> they know so they they know i talk about them all the time and if it wasn't for them uh, i wouldn't be you know where i'm at today so well we're glad that you're where you are today and good Me job too. thank Congrats. you yeah, I'm, glad I'm, I'm glad i'm here so you wrote the song 23 i think that i read you wrote it like as soon as you got to nashville I wrote 23 about a year prior to uh, to doing American Idol. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Well, I was reading it has over 21 million streams, killing it. It's 23 million on oh. Spotify. It's almost 100 million worldwide Dude. streams. And it's actually just a few days ago went platinum in Canada. Holy moly. Yeah, so it's, it's done. Congratulations. It's, thank you. Yeah, it's done some really cool stuff for me. I'd never pictured that song doing what it's doing now and still raking in, uh, you know, a, a million streams a week and stuff. It, to me, that blows my mind. I've never I thought, thought people that that would sounded to like it. a lot. What's that? What the 21 say? million. That's a lot. Yeah, place. but that's the Spotify. That's just Spotify. Oh it's gosh. 23 million. Well, just on Spotify. That's why it blows me away. I never like uh, just the other day we hit a million monthly listeners. Awesome. So to me, that's like such a big deal. <laughs> like I've never imagined yeah. a million people listening to my songs, you know? So, um, yeah, that song has been kind of something that's just stuck with me and it's my story. It's a true story that I wrote about my life. And, um, it's kind of an anthem. I feel like whenever you come to one of my shows and you hear everybody singing that song, it's, it's, a, it's a cool experience. Let's say instead of doing music stuff, you were a professional wrestler. <laughs> what would your walkout <laughs> song be? Oh, man. I don't know. That's a great, that's a crazy question. That's like, I took that way too seriously. I'm like, how are the people going to interpret me when I walk out to this song? Don't worry, you're just being like recorded. You do. Yeah, dude, don't worry, we're on a timer. Um, I feel like it's so stereotypical. Everybody likes to do uh, like, you know, like those big songs like Sweet Caroline when like, you know, UFC fighters walk out and it's like the whole crowd anthems just like they're all singing that. Something like that would be cool, but I don't know what it would be. That's I'm, trying, I'm trying to think of something that... Pickles, yes or no? No. Bucket list collaboration. Uh, Chris Stapleton. So doing what you get to do, um, you rub elbows with a lot of celebrities and famous folks. Right. Is there anybody that you've met in your time doing what you do that you've just completely fanboyed out over? Ooh. Um, well, I think whenever I, I meet people, I'm good at staying in control and then when they leave i like freak out and i'm just like you know and everybody's like whoa what happened to chase and um it's kind of like it, it'll sink in stuff hits me like a week later and you know i'm just like whoa that was crazy you know like i get excited about stupid stuff but um i, I think like luke combs was somebody who i met where I, I just i love his music i love his songs i love his message and it's something that i relate to and i, I know his songs you know word for word so when i met him 
and uh, he was every bit of what you would expect Luke Combs to be, and then some. He was awesome, and um, I think after the fact, like I got a I got a text from Luke Combs, and I was just like, oh my god, I got Luke Combs phone number, you know, just like <laughs> freaking out, and they're like, okay, it's cool, it's cool, don't call him, you know, like don't bug him, he's probably busy, you know, <laughs> so stuff like that. But you start meeting people and running into them, it's kind of hard not to fangirl, I guess, or fanboy out whenever you meet them because you hear their songs on the radio for your whole life growing up or in high school. It's like, you know, sometimes you forget, like even with Luke Bryan, it's like, man, I, I think of all the songs that he has, all the number ones, and I'm like, those bring back some memories, you know, and it's just like, they're uh, people that I know now. And I'm like, that's crazy. Thanks, Cause colleagues. it's, especially at home, it's like, those are, that's all they play on the radio. You know, the country radio station at home is, you know, playing most of these guys that I know. So it's cool going home and it's like, oh, I know that guy, I know that guy, I know that guy, but I don't say anything, but it's <laughs> like inside I'm like, yeah. All right, two more for you. Okay. Dog person or cat person? Dog. I could have, I knew that. <laughs> I feel like you know, you. though, like with anybody that you talk to, mm -hmm. you're just like, you like cats, huh? <laughs> like, it's that kind of a vibe that they put off. You're just like, you're, you're, you're a cat person. I hope uh, you don't mean that as an insult. Are you a cat person? Oh, she, I, yeah, you're a cat person. She is a cat person. <laughs> too though i don't I well don't that's the me. thing cats i think i think it's impressive to be a cat person because cats scare they scare me oh. and i think that if you can tame a cat that that's a talent <laughs> because i they just they there is no taming them it's just whether that's or not my they point it's scary <laughs> it's like they're, they're their own person and they're doing their own thing and it's almost like you're living in their world yeah. not no, they're living in yours absolutely true and something about that just freaks me out <laughs> You know, so I'm yeah. a dog guy. Dogs are like, hey. <laughs> they're always ready to party. Yeah, they just not so much. come with you everywhere and you know, yeah. they're fun and people like, I mean, I feel like it's a questionable thing. Can you pet someone's cat? It's like, oh yeah, don't, don't, don't touch my cat. Like, you know, yeah. you kind of just know not to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. I have one that's very sweet and one that is not as sweet. I will say one of my good friends uh, growing up had a cat. His name was Buddy and Buddy was like a dog. And I love Buddy. Buddy'd come up and jump on your lap and he'd hang out with you and he'd bring birds to the door and he was a good, good cat. Good so provider. Yeah, and Buddy's still around. He's still alive. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so. Maybe we'll get a picture of Buddy. Um, <laughs> For the dog person over here. All right, last question. You ready Picture for it? Picture me with the cat. <laughs> I'm doing this thing that I like to call the Dolly Tally. I need to know what your favorite Dolly Parton song is. Uh, Code of Many Colors. All right, Chase Beckham. It's been a great chat. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Dear, I'm writing this for you As I contemplate tomorrow But it's hard to